G'day everybody. I just thought I'd uh, do a painting outside today. I'm in my yard here and you can hear my bird chirping and you know both dogs are out here and my little Lizzie is out here as well. I'll show you show him to you in a second. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll show you in a second what um, what we'll be doing. Okay, so this is the piece that I've been working on for a few days and that's it's it's come up real good but it does need some touching up with the acrylic paint so um, yep that's I'll go and show you Lizzie at the moment actually his name is Parthenex you know so hi Parthy trying to get out I'm gonna um, go and take him inside into his terrarium in a second. I just wanted him to get some natural sun. But look how lovely he is. He's actually in a bird cage out here um, just for a little while, get some sun and get some, you know, until I find uh, something better for him to and bigger to keep him outside during the summer. Okay, I'll take you inside into your terrarium where you love it. All right, I hope you enjoy that little off subject um, scene there where I showed you a little bit of uh, my, my uh, bearded dragon, he's absolutely beautiful. And so I've got him settled back into his um, terrarium and uh, back out here to do some painting. I'm using some acrylic paints. And just going underneath those fish and giving them a bit of a shadow. And uh, also going around and, you know, fixing the, the fish, adding some more colour onto them. To give them a little bit of uh, uh, dimension as well as a bit of a highlight here and there and pretty much just filling around and doing all that adding to the tail adding some gold here and there and some white so I will speed this up and I have cut this video quite a bit because you can imagine how fiddly this gets and there's a lot of detail using a little thin brush to to do the work with so you don't need to see all of it I don't I don't think you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here so because I'm painting over resin now some bits are still popping up uh, which are a bit harder to paint over, but it's I find it really easy to paint over resin Adding some more tentacles on that jellyfish and a little bit of form and shape to it And just creating a story letting this story develop into something kind of special and at the end of it all you will see you know How interesting it all is there's so many things happening there Now regretting that I didn't do the background a little bit lighter, like a real watery kind of colour. And uh, you know the the actual camera picks it up even darker than what it what it is. But it does it looks like a real deep, deep kind of water and some of the fish are not as uh, you know, not as uh, prominent as the other ones so it, it gives you an illusion of, of them being deeper in further away kind of thing so just painting some pretty little blue fish up there where I had those skins stuck on there and they didn't really work so when I pulled them off I ended up taking some of the paint from underneath that off so I'm painting over that now just camouflaging all of that and these are little blue uh, fish with lots of uh, fluffy feathery kind of tail and fins like the, the fighting fish they're little 
you know, I think they're 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 that kind of colour anyway. I'm just doing all this from from my mind, really, from what I saw and you know, on pictures and things like that. Some of the things like the shark, I actually googled it just to have an idea of uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> Never painted a shark before, so um, yeah, adding some lighter colours now. Just a bit of white mixed in with that blue, just to give it a real nice, pretty looking um, look. So, um, you know, and just rubbing some out where I think I've overdone it and just keep going like that back and forth, back and forth until I am happy with it. Bit of, um, you know, shading from the sunlight from up top and yeah, just a bit of interest there. And I will do something in the left, something blue in the uh, left uh, bottom corner later on, just to give the, the, the picture a bit of a balance. And now that it's done, you know, that I've got it all finished and everything, it's it's hard to just look at one thing when you're looking at a picture. There's so many things going on. And so many little interesting little things that you can see in there um, and if you're you know if you're interested you will find all kinds of things in there that I don't even know that that are there you know some of the things that are hidden that are, have been created with uh, some glitter or you know a bit of paint here and there and some movement uh, you know it's uh, it's really really interesting so I have applied a little layer of resin on here now and just going around with my heat gun just to blow the bubbles. And I've got a little bit of colour which I just uh, mixed in and just with my finger I watered it down and just went over that uh, the ship to give it a bit of colour so it's not so white. Underneath the shark you can see some object there. I end up turning that into another jellyfish, a long, longish one with tentacles coming sideways just because I kind of forgot about that bit there to be honest and then um, I had to do something with it. And just going around just with my fingers and uh, spreading the resin around everywhere. So I started with the top uh, part of the picture first. And then I mixed up some more resin and I did the bottom. I just wanted to spread it out first and see how much more I will need. And then that's what I did. So I mixed in a little bit of angel white. Uh, just in that uh, little cup there with some resin. I first went around with just dipping a toothpick into the angel white paste unmixed just as is and I just did some lines over some areas in the picture and they looked really cool for about uh, maybe 30 seconds and then they started opening up and spreading just sitting on top of that resin um, so then what I did was I used the same toothpick and just kind of stretched them out a little bit and mixed them in a bit um, so that worked and I'm just adding a little bit of um, color. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, underneath that white fish on the left there, uh, there was that yellow, um, like a sea sponge, which looked like a bit of a uh, turd, to be honest. So it was just too much. There was just too much there. So I um, covered that with some blue and green paint just dabbed it with my finger to dull down that yellow so there's still a little bit of yellow showing there and then I decided to just put some mixed gems over it which was really cool because I had all kinds of colors there I had amethyst I had the uh, what was it the moonstone I had a little bit of uh, Um, carnelian, the clear quartz, uh, there was like a yellowish one in there, I can't think of the name now what that one was and a greenish one, uh, so there's yeah it worked really really well there. 
and you can see that I've got a little bit of teal mixed with resin just to make it really transparent and just uh, swoosh it around a little bit on the lighter areas and then after that I will have uh, some of that angel white mixed in with resin and just going over over them as well which will create movement like you can see that the fish especially the shark is swimming through that water and it's giving that bit of reflection from that movement these things just kind of um I just went with it as you know I just could see that it needed something else and I put that in I didn't I definitely didn't plan any of this um, I didn't know what it was, was gonna come come off it and uh, yeah I just kept going and thinking oh I, this might need some movement this might need a bit of reflection or a bit of shading underneath it or something like that so that's how that happened just going around with some of that white and just creating those tentacles because the resin is already starting to set a little bit uh, so it's giving it's allowing me to just pop some of that uh, color on top just like that that's mixed with resin and it's sitting nicely like that not moving so it will need another coat which will be the final coat and I will still get that texture poking out um, as well as um, the depth and, and all of that but it definitely will need another coat in uh, you know to cover cover it and make it look like finished a finished piece just going around with that white wherever I thought I needed something and those tentacles I am stretching them down in front of that fish so it looks like the fish is in in front of the the jellyfish the jellyfish is behind it and just uh, kind of smoothing out some of that white that I had there and that ended up looking like another jellyfish that was down there at the bottom of the ocean I'm popping in some little dots just of white um, creating a little bit of light coming in from the top and also later on oh yeah I'm fixing up that uh, jellyfish now just giving it some tentacles coming down from the side and then I thought they were a bit too straight so then I wiggled them a little bit you know I did a wiggly lines to to create you know to make it look more natural and just adding some more see how each time I add some more it just uh, it brightens it up and it brings brings it back to life again which is pretty cool it took a while to do this piece it really did <laughs> uh, thoroughly enjoyed it though I hope you enjoyed it too it's been quite a journey this is the fourth video now so this piece would have taken many many hours and many many of them been cut out So that's just movement in the water. I absolutely love what that's done there. Who would have thought that's going to happen there? Unbelievable. Because these fish are doing things in there. So a few bubbles. I don't know how that bubble. All right, so that just stayed there, which is pretty cool. Got another one on there. some creature down there All right okay I am really happy with this so far however I will get some little round oh, where are they the 
acrylic beads and pop them in there strategically and let's see if, uh, if I can get it right. Well, so much for a quick video, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Don't wanna to torch it anymore. I actually want, I actually want to leave it, let it sit like that. I can see lots of things happening in there. Um, I actually thought of an idea just now, actually, which I'm gonna try and do. Don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a damn go. Just gonna see if this will create bubbles in there. Oh, not enough air coming out of it. Let me get a bigger one. Okay, this is creating air. Let's see. Pop it in there and go. <laughs> not really. Where's the bubbles when you want them? Serious. Oh, here's one. There's one. This is cool. Here's another one. Oh, that's how you do it. Suck it in and then blow it back out. Oh, look at that. Didn't need to put the beads in there. It's okay, beads look cool. Let's do it here. Just amongst those beads, I reckon it'll look really awesome. Look at that. I've got lots of bubbles. Push it out there. Pop it in. Push it out. Oh, this is awesome. There you go. Uh, I wanted lots of bubbles around the shark. Some of them will pop up. And some of them will stay in there. This is our maze balls. I want lots of shit and bubbles here. Okay. I'll leave it like that now. Leave it alone now. Leave it alone. Here it is, out in the shaded sunlight, just so you can see all the sparkle and everything in there. There's that little key, you can really see it now popping up. I've decided not to do another layer of resin. I like the bumpy bits, and I'm going to keep them there. Uh, everything seemed to look like it fits, and you know what, the camera and the, you know, it just... It, it takes it videos everything two-dimensional and if you were here looking at this painting you could see so much depth in here it's unbelievable unbelievable you can actually see these things look like they're underwater so I really hope you enjoyed this I thoroughly enjoyed it and very happy to share it with you so um, please let me know what you think thanks so much for watching much appreciated Bye for now. Well, I forgot to tell you earlier, I will paint these in a complementary colour, probably green, um, just to match what I already have here. I went around with my Stanley knife and just cut the sharp bits that were poking out there. And, um, and then I'm just going to go around with my Dremel tool and just sand it down a little bit and give it that kind of a frosty effect just a little bit there on the side and that's it done ski for this one